This video is to teach you about the QD system and our Dragoon suppressors. The parts of our quick disconnect system include the mount. Now this mount can be what we describe as, as a mount. It doesn't have a muzzle brake or a flash hider on it. And then we have muzzle brake versions and we have flash hider versions. This part has changed, but this is the mounting system that goes on your firearm. Interfacing into this quick attach nut system here the benefits of this mounting system is that there are two beveled shoulders that interface to their, their respective beveled shoulders in the body of the suppressor. And by way of this ratcheting nut assembly, we open it up. You will see the open area right here. That's in the open position. When I slide this mount in onto the firearm, this shoulder and this shoulder have two separate mating surfaces. So I put it in, I then, it's not tight, it's just on there, I'm pushing it down, there's a spring in here, push it down slightly and I turn it clockwise until it interfaces. Now I'm gonna turn this one revolution, the body, and that gap is going to close as it pulls this mount and the shoulders up against this. Now those shoulders are totally in sync right next to each other it's perfect alignment every time when you go out and shoot the first time, you take it off, you go home, you come back, you put it on every time you have repeatability as you use this over and over and over. So your group is not moving from one place to another. That has been solved through this mounting system. One of the useful aspects to the quick disconnect system and how people use it with SBRs or brace guns where they have a, an M-lock forearm that exceeds the length of the barrel and I'm gonna illustrate it through this technique. Imagine this is your firearm barrel and you have a M-lock forearm that exceeds it here. Now, through our smallest diameter, one and three eighths, and this quick disconnect system, which does not require you to touch the nut, I can go through that forearm onto the barrel. I can push it in, turn it and engage it, and, and I have it in there perfectly. And when I wanna remove it, I just turn it push it in, take it back out, and so now I have uh, total flexibility as far as how I can accommodate these short barrel platforms. This demonstration uh, that we're about to go over has to do with the typical Dragoon quick attach fitting. Uh, now, there are two parts to this. One is the part that goes on the rifle. This is an example of one, but what they all have in common is the part that I'm covering up is the optional part. This is what we call a mount, and that mount has two bevels on it. We have muzzle brake mounts like this one, we have flash hider mounts, and we have just pure mounts that look like that. Any one of them will work in this. It's just a question of having the right threads for your barrel. And uh, now I'm gonna go into the more interesting part, which is to do with the quick attach um, components uh, on the suppressor. In your box that you get with the suppressor, you're going to have an Allen wrench. That Allen wrench goes into this nut and it allow you just unscrew it and it comes out. We provide you in with the suppressor a duplicate one of these nuts in case you lose one. We just find it easier to give you an extra up front in case you lose it. But you'll see in a minute why this nut captivates this. So when it's on a firearm, there's no way for this nut to come loose. The only way this nut can come out is if you have this window uh, exposing the nut and that's in, the, in, the, uh, in one position. So uh, you'll see in a second why this can't come out because this there's a machined out groove on the back side of this nut which allows this to spin over this uh, screw here uh, keeping it encapsulated. So now I'm going to just unscrew this since I've taken that screw out. And you can see how this is a, a body. Uh, we machine it out of a solid bar of titanium. This is not a welded on piece. But this also shows you the ratcheting system at the end of the threads. And that will make more sense when I get into the rest of this. So now we have three components inside this nut. And I'm just gonna dump them out.
you have a stainless leaf spring goes in the middle of between these two and you'll notice that this is a very simple ring that we machine out of titanium and you'll notice the little dimples that are machined onto here basically that orients it to a particular mount um, when we the way we keep our suppressors from a smaller a, a bit a larger caliber suppressor from going on to a a, excuse me, a smaller caliber suppressor going on to a larger uh, caliber rifle or uh, brace gun is that we have this ring size so it will preclude that from happening. On a 7.62 mount as an example there will be another little collar that's right down here and that will be sized for this ring. Um, and so you can see now there's a little play but if I had a ring for 5.56 five, uh, size, which is different in the 5.56 five, suppressors, it would not go on to that mount. So it's a way to keep people from hurting themselves by creating this as a different component. It looks very much the same, but it is different. So now inside this nut, you will see that there's a notch on the side that goes down between the threads. That is this particular piece here, this ring has these tabs that, that stick off to the side. They slide down in those grooves, which we'll do in a minute. But there's another thing about this ring. You'll notice, you'll see if we can see it here. There is a tab right here. It's a tit that sticks off of this. That piece interfaces to the ratchet. So it's what falls in and out of those little grooves and you can feel it and you can hear it when it's, when it's all together. So I want that tab at the end of this assembly process to point towards that end. So it's the last piece that goes on. So I take the smooth ring and I just drop it down in here and I get it flat. Then I take the spring and I lay it in there and it goes flat. This one's a little trickier. You just have to line up the tabs on the end with the slots and you see it slides down into there. And that, those slots and holding that ring hold that tab so that the ring doesn't spin around, but that tab is stationary and it clicks in, in a ratchet form. Now the cleaning of this, you don't need to lubricate anything in here. The cleaning of this, just put it into CLR, leave it a couple hours, take it out, wipe all the components off and you're done. And you can also use a CLR on this and clean the end. So at this, this stage I'm going to invert this just so I don't have the parts that fall out and I screw it back on. Now the next part is kind of a tricky thing because you're going to want to know where you actually stop. I went all the way down and you'll see that the hole lines up with the notch. If I put the screw in now I couldn't Loosen it up. Oh, by the way, I did not show you, so I'm going to show you the captivating area on the suppressor. There is, you, you can see in this video, the, the thicker part right here. This, this inside surface has been machined out till it allows this to rotate around the head of the screw, but when it gets to the end, it's a stop, so it won't let you go past it unless you take the screw out. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to go all the way down. Now when we see the hole and the notch, we're going to back it off one turn. So I'm going to turn this, you can hear the ratcheting, until it lines up again. At this point is when I put the screw back in. So it's important, one revolution and I might fiddle around with this for a minute. Hopefully I can get this in sooner than later. There we go. I get this on. I'm just going to snug it up again. You. This is a place where you, you can damage anything if you work at it. You don't need to 
to do anything but just a little snug. That's all it takes. You don't need to twist this off and uh, break anything. So that's done. You see now it slides over that in that grooved out area that I described earlier. So that is back together and ready to apply to your firearm. And it's ready to go. That's it. So in closing, we have many benefits to this quick detach system. Uh, one is the quick nature in which it can be attached. One is it in the total alignment for repeatability from shot groups. And you can see a third happens to be just attaching it in these short barrel platforms.